But first, two separate stabbings in Center City. Police say the attacks appear to be random, and one of the victims is a one-year-old boy. Good evening, I'm Aziza Shuler. That little boy was stabbed twice. Police say they have a person of interest in custody tonight in connection to these incidents, both happening in busy neighborhoods in broad daylight. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Ryan Hughes has the latest. Sources tell us the person of interest is believed to be the suspect behind both attacks. Police say she was also wanted for an assault in New York City. Philadelphia police say a mother and father pushing their one year old twins in a stroller were walking past a Temple Beth Zion Beth Israel Synagogue near 18th and Spruce near Rittenhouse Square around noon Saturday when a woman with a long knife ran up to them. Nothing was said, complete random, stabbed tried to stab both children. Police say she could only reach one of the babies and stabbed both of his arms. The father chased after the suspect. She got away but dropped the black backpack with a coat inside. Police say they believe the same person was wearing that coat hours earlier when she randomly stabbed the 24-year-old woman in the chest and hand while she was walking in the 1300 block of Chancellor Street in Center City around 8 Saturday morning. This uh, offender just runs up, quick stab, runs. The long knife looks like some kind of kitchen knife. Police believe the suspect has no ties to Philadelphia. People we spoke with in Center City were frightened to learn about the random attacks and that a baby boy was one of the victims. Just kind of shocked to know that somebody like this is walking around just right next to us. A shock, but, but not total surprise, given the craziness in the city. I've never heard of anything like, happen, anything like that happening in Rittenhouse before. My heart goes out to the family. The synagogue tells CBS News Philadelphia its security team helped the baby and his family before an ambulance arrived. The one-year-old remains in the hospital, last listed in stable condition. We're told the woman stabbed is out of the hospital and now home recovering. Reporting outside Philadelphia Police Headquarters, Ryan Hughes, CBS News Philadelphia.